The relationship between religion and homosexuality has varied greatly across time and place, within and between different religions and denominations, and regarding different forms of homosexuality and bisexuality. Present-day doctrines of the world's major religions vary vastly generally and by denomination on attitudes toward these sexual orientations. Among those denominations that generally are negative towards these orientations, there are many different types of actions they may take. This can range from quietly discouraging homosexual activity, explicitly forbidding same sex sexual practices among adherents, and actively opposing social acceptance of homosexuality, to execution. Religious fundamentalism has been found to correlate positively with anti homosexual bias. This is the case with common religiosity too, which typically predicts homophobic attitudes but has also been found to lead to physical anti-gay hostility, in a lab experiment. Religious opposition to gay adoption was found to be explained by collectivistic values loyalty, authority, purity and low flexibility in existential issues, and not by high pro-social inclinations for the weak. Attitudes toward homosexuality have been found to be determined not only by personal religious beliefs, but by the interaction of those beliefs with the predominant national religious context—even for people who are less religious or who do not share their local dominant religious context. Many argue that it is homosexual actions which are sinful, rather than same-sex attraction itself. To this end, some discourage labeling individuals according to sexual orientation. Several organizations exist that assert that conversion therapy can help diminish same-sex attraction. However, some adherents of many religions view the two sexual orientations positively, and some religious denominations may bless same-sex marriages and support LGBT rights, and the amount of those that do are continuously increasing around the world as much of the developed world enacts laws supporting LGBT rights. Historically, some cultures and religions accommodated, institutionalized, or revered, same-sex love and sexuality. Such mythologies and traditions can be found around the world. For example, Hinduism does not view homosexuality as a religious sin. In 2009, the Hindu Council UK released the statement, Hinduism does not condemn homosexuality. Sikh wedding ceremonies are non-gender specific, and so same-sex marriage is possible within Sikhism, regardless of their position on homosexuality. Many people of faith look to both sacred texts and tradition for guidance on this issue. However, the authority of various traditions or scriptural passages and the correctness of translations and interpretations are continually disputed. Topic: <laughs> Views of specific religious groups. Topic. Topic. Abrahamic religions Topic. The Abrahamic religions of Judaism, Christianity and Islam, have traditionally forbidden sodomy, believing and teaching that such behavior is sinful. Today some denominations within these religions are accepting of homosexuality and inclusive of homosexual people, such as Reform Judaism, the United Church of Christ and the Metropolitan Community Church. Some Presbyterian and Anglican churches welcome members regardless of same-sex sexual practices, with some provinces allowing for the ordination and inclusion of gay and lesbian clerics, and affirmation of same-sex unions. Reform Judaism incorporates lesbian and gay rabbis and same-sex marriage liturgies, while Reconstructionist Judaism and Conservative Judaism in the U.S. allows for lesbian and gay rabbis and same-sex unions. <inaudible> Judaism The Torah first five books of the Hebrew Bible is the primary source for Jewish views on homosexuality. It states that a man shall not lie with another man as he would with a woman, it is a tub toba. Abomination. Quote closing parenthesis quote. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22, like many similar commandments, the stated punishment for willful violation is the death penalty, although in practice rabbinic Judaism no longer believes it has the authority to implement death penalties. Orthodox Judaism views homosexual acts as sinful. In recent years, there has been approaches claiming only the sexual anal act is forbidden and considered abomination by the Torah, while the sexual orientation and even other sexual activities are not considered a sin. 
Conservative Judaism has engaged in an in-depth study of homosexuality since the 1990s with various rabbis presenting a wide array of responsa papers with legal arguments for communal consideration. The official position of the movement is to welcome homosexual Jews into their synagogues, and also campaign against any discrimination in civil law and public society, but also to uphold a ban on anal sex as a religious requirement. Reform Judaism and Reconstructionist Judaism in North America and Liberal Judaism in the United Kingdom view homosexuality to be acceptable on the same basis as heterosexuality. Progressive Jewish authorities believe either that traditional laws against homosexuality are no longer binding or that they are subject to changes that reflect a new understanding of human sexuality. Some of these authorities rely on modern biblical scholarship suggesting that the prohibition in the Torah was intended to ban coercive or ritualized homosexual sex, such as those practices ascribed to Egyptian and Canaanite fertility cults and temple prostitution. Christianity Christian denominations hold a variety of views on the issue of homosexual activity, ranging from outright condemnation to complete acceptance. Most Christian denominations welcome people attracted to the same sex, but teach that homosexual acts are sinful. These denominations include the Roman Catholic Church, the Eastern Orthodox Church, the Oriental Orthodox Churches, confessional Lutheran denominations such as the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, the United Methodist Church, and some other mainline denominations, such as the Reformed Church in America and the American Baptist Church, as well as conservative evangelical organizations and churches, such as the Evangelical Alliance, and fundamentalist groups and churches, such as the Southern Baptist Convention. Pentecostal churches such as the Assemblies of God, as well as Restorationist churches, like Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons, also take the position that homosexual sexual activity is sinful. Liberal Christians are supportive of homosexuals. Some Christian denominations do not view monogamous same-sex relationships as bad or evil. These include the United Church of Canada, the United Church of Christ, the Episcopal Church, the Presbyterian Church USA, the Churches of the Old Catholic Union of Utrecht, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada, the Church of Sweden, the Lutheran, Reformed and United Churches in Evangelical Church of Germany, the Church of Denmark, the Icelandic Church, the Church of Norway or the Protestant Church of the Netherlands. In particular, the Metropolitan Community Church, a denomination of 40,000 members, was founded specifically to serve the Christian LGBT community, and is devoted to being open and affirming to LGBT people. The United Church of Christ and the Alliance of Baptists also condone gay marriage, and some parts of the Anglican and Lutheran churches allow for the blessing of gay unions. Within the Anglican Communion there are openly gay clergy, for example, Jean Robinson and Mary Glasspool are openly homosexual bishops in the U.S. Episcopal Church and Eva Brunn in Lutheran Church of Sweden. The Episcopal Church's recent actions vis-a-vis -vis homosexuality have brought about increased ethical debate and tension within the Church of England and worldwide Anglican churches. In the United States and many other nations, the religious people are becoming more affirming of same-sex relationships. Even those in denominations with official stances are liberalizing, though not as quickly as those in more affirming religious groups. Passages from the Mosaic Covenant and its broader Old Testament context have been interpreted to mean that anyone engaging in homosexual practices should be punished with death. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13, cf. Genesis chapter 19 verses 4 to 25, Judges 19:22 to 20:48, 2 Peter chapter 2 verses 6 to 10, Jude chapter 7. AIDS has also been portrayed by some fundamentalist sects such as Fred Phelps and Jerry Falwell as a punishment by God against homosexuals. In the 20th century, theologians like Karl Barth, Jürgen Moltmann, Hans Kung, John Robinson, Bishop David Jenkins, Don Cuppet, Bishop Jack Spong challenged traditional theological positions and understandings of the Bible. Following these developments, some have suggested that passages have been mistranslated, are taken out of context, or that they do not refer to what we understand as homosexuality. Conservative denominations generally oppose same sex sexual 
relations based on Old Testament and New Testament texts that describe human sexual relations as strictly heterosexual by God. S design Genesis chapter 2 verses 18 to 24 126 minus 28 Matthew chapter 19 verses 4 to 6 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 1 to 40 Ephesians chapter 5 verses 22 to 33 which God declared very good Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 to 31 as such it is argued that sexual desires and actions that contradict God's design are deemed sinful and are condemned by God e.g and with a male you singular masculine shall not lie sexually as with a female that is an abomination Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22 cf Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 since love does not rejoice in unrighteousness or iniquity cf 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 6 and since homosexual desires and actions are believed to remain contrary to God S design and condemned by God as sinful iniquity e.g. in general Romans chapter 1 verses 26 to 27 passively 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 actively including but not limited to pederasty 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 1 Timothy chapter 1 verses 9 to 11 considered sexually immoral Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 to 21 Colossians chapter 3 verses 5 to 7 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 3 adherents of conservative denominations believe that genuine love for God and humanity is best expressed by following God rather than the world Acts chapter 5 verse 29, cf. Jeremiah chapter 23 verses 1 to 40, Romans chapter 12 verse 9. Where the Catholic view is founded on a natural law argument informed by Scripture and proposed by Thomas Aquinas, the traditional conservative Protestant view is based on an interpretation of Scripture alone. Protestant conservatives also see homosexual relationships as an impediment to heterosexual relationships. They interpret some biblical passages to be commandments to be heterosexually married. Catholics, on the other hand, have accommodated unmarried people as priests, monks, nuns and single lay people for over a thousand years. A number of self-described gay and ex-gay Christians have reported satisfaction in mixed orientation marriages. Topic. Catholic Church Topic. The Catholic Church teaches that those who are attracted to persons of the same sex are called to practice chastity, just like everyone else has to before they get married. The Catholic Church does not regard homosexual activity as an expression of the marital sacrament, which it teaches is only possible within a lifelong commitment of a marriage between a man and a woman. According to the Church's sexual ethics, homosexual activity falls short in the complementarity male and female organs complement each other and fecundity openness to new life of the sexual act. In essence this actually translates as a life of celibacy on the part of the homosexual person as, unlike his, her heterosexual counterpart, there is no release from the life of chastity thereby turning the homosexual's life into one of celibacy. To say otherwise, as many Catholics try to assert is merely to play semantic word games to make the homosexual person not feel singled out, which is exactly what this teaching does. The views of the Catholic Church, and the application of those views in real terms, can be deeply hurtful to those with same-sex attractions and, coupled with a refusal by some traditional Catholics to acknowledge the existence of LGBT groups, can lead to gay and lesbian Catholics feeling isolated, confused and lost. The problem is so bad even voices inside the Vatican have sought to challenge the status quo. As yet there is no evidence the Church is willing to bend on this issue, until then the evidence cited here demonstrates the Catholic Church is toxic to homosexual persons, regardless of what Pew studies of parishioners' individual views may suggest. Whilst these suggest a growing trend of LGBT acceptance in some Catholic churches, it does however hide a darker picture. There are currently active apostolates ministries which promote homophobic interpretations of scripture and seek to make homosexuals the scapegoat of the sex abuse scandal rocking the church. This demonizing of the homosexuals is in essence to deny the extent and scope of the sex abuse scandal in the church and compartmentalize it so that the issue can be brushed aside. Scholars of history will note the similarities to the way Jews were scapegoated by the Nazis for all of Germany's pre-war ills. As the Catholic Church officially remains silent on a LGBT inclusion and b on the promulgation of hate speech in its name, it demonstrates an institutional apathy. 
With time one can only hope the majority of liberal believers are able to enact some positive change in this organization. Mormonism. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints teaches that no one should arouse sexual feelings outside of marriage, including those towards members of the same sex. The LDS Church recognizes that feelings of same-sex attraction may not change or be overcome in this earth life, and expect all unmarried members, gay or straight, to abstain from any and all sexual relations outside of heterosexual marriage. The LDS Church maintains that feelings and inclinations toward the same sex i.e., homosexual feelings or temptations are not inherently sinful, but engaging in homosexual behavior is in conflict with the doctrinal principle, based on sacred scripture, that marriage between a man and a woman is essential to the Creator's plan for the eternal destiny of his children. Those who experience same-sex attraction should continually exercise self-control and reliance on the atonement of Jesus Christ in order to refrain from acting on such feelings. The LDS Church strongly opposes same-sex marriage and teaches that marriage is only to be between a man and a woman, and that this is essential to God's eternal plan. For more information on this subject, see the LDS Church's website, Love One Another, a discussion on same-sex attraction. This site strives to address, through interviews and videos from church leaders and members, the issue of same-sex attraction as it relates to individuals and affected family members. Islam All major Islamic schools disapprove of homosexuality, Islam views same-sex desires as an unnatural temptation, and sexual relations are seen as a transgression of the natural role and aim of sexual activity. Islamic teachings in the Hadith tradition presume same-sex attraction, extol abstention and in the Quran condemn consummation. The discourse on homosexuality in Islam is primarily concerned with activities between men. There are, however, a few hadith mentioning homosexual behavior in women. The fuqaha are agreed that there is no had punishment for lesbianism because it is not zina. Rather, a tazir punishment must be imposed because it is a sin. Although punishment for lesbianism is rarely mentioned in the histories, Al-Tabari records an example of the casual execution of a pair of lesbian slave girls in the harem of Al-Hadi, in a collection of highly critical anecdotes pertaining to that caliph's actions as ruler. <laughs> Baha'i faith Baha. I law limits permissible sexual relations to those between a man and a woman in marriage. Believers are expected to abstain from sex outside matrimony. Baha is do not, however, attempt to impose their moral standards on those who have not accepted the revelation of Baha'u'llah. While requiring uprightness in all matters of morality, whether sexual or otherwise, the Baha'i teachings also take account of human frailty and call for tolerance and understanding in regard to human failings. In this context, to regard homosexuals with prejudice would be contrary to the spirit of the Baha'i teachings. Topic. Indian religions Topic. Among the religions that originated in India, including Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism and Sikhism, teachings regarding homosexuality are less clear than among the Abrahamic traditions, and religious authorities voice diverse opinions. In 2005, an authority figure of Sikhism condemned same-sex marriage and the practice of homosexuality. However, many people in Sikhism do not oppose gay marriage. Hinduism is diverse, with no supreme governing body, but the majority of Swamis opposed same-sex relationships in a 2004 survey, and a minority supported them. Ancient religious texts such as the Vedas often refer to people of a third gender known as Hijra, who are neither female nor male. Some see this third gender as an ancient parallel to modern Western lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex identities. Topic. Hinduism Topic. Hinduism has taken various positions, ranging from positive to neutral or antagonistic. Referring to the nature of samsara, the Rigveda, one of the four canonical sacred texts of Hinduism says, Vikruti evam prakrita. Perversity, diversity is what nature is all about, or, what seems unnatural is also natural. A. 
third gender has been acknowledged within Hinduism since Vedic times. Several Hindu texts, such as Manu Smriti and Sushruta Samhita, assert that some people are born with either mixed male and female natures, or sexually neuter, as a matter of natural biology. However, Hindu texts like the Manusmriti do treat homosexuality as a sin legally punishable. In addition, each Hindu denomination had developed distinct rules regarding sexuality, as Hinduism is not unified and is decentralized in essence. Several Hindu religious laws contain injunctions against homosexual activity, while some Hindu theories do not condemn lesbian relations and some third-gendered individuals were highly regarded. Hindu groups are historically not unified regarding the issue of homosexuality, each one having a distinct doctrinal view. The Indian Kama Sutra, written around 150 BC, contains passages describing eunuchs or third sex males performing oral sex on men. Similarly, some medieval Hindu temples and artifacts openly depict both male homosexuality and lesbianism within their carvings, such as the temple walls at Kajuraho. Some infer from these images that at least part of the Hindu society and religion were previously more open to variations in human sexuality than they are at present. In some Hindu sects specifically among the Hiras, many divinities are androgynous. There are Hindu deities who are intersex both male and female, who manifest in all three genders, who switch from male to female or from female to male, male deities with female moods and female deities with male moods, deities born from two males or from two females, deities born from a single male or single female, deities who avoid the opposite sex, deities with principal companions of the same sex, and so on. Several Hindu priests have performed same-sex marriages, arguing that love is the result of attachments from previous births and that marriage, as a union of spirit, is transcendental to gender. It is often regarded that Hinduism does not condemn homosexuality. Topic Buddhism Topic The most common formulation of Buddhist ethics are the five precepts and the eightfold path, one should neither be attached to nor crave sensual pleasure. The third of the five precepts is to refrain from committing sexual misconduct, however, sexual misconduct is a broad term, and is subjected to interpretation relative to the social norms of the followers. The determination of whether or not same gender relations is appropriate for a layperson is not considered a religious matter by many Buddhists. According to the Pali Canon and Agama, the early Buddhist scriptures, there is not any saying that same or opposite gender relations have anything to do with sexual misconduct, and some Theravada monks express that same gender relations do not violate the rule to avoid sexual misconduct, which means not having sex with someone under age, thus protected by their parents or guardians, someone betrothed or married, and who have taken vows of religious celibacy, some later traditions gradually began to add new restrictions on sexual misconduct, like non-vagina sex, though its situations seem involving coerced sex. This non-vagina sex as sexual misconduct view is not based on what Buddhas said, but from some later Abhidharma texts, Buddhism is often characterized as distrustful of sensual enjoyment and sexuality in general. Traditionally, sexual conduct are seen as obstacles to spiritual progress in most schools of Buddhism, as such monks are expected to refrain from all sexual activity, and the Vinaya the first book of the Tripitaka specifically prohibits sexual intercourse, then further explain that anal, oral, and vaginal intercourse amount to sexual intercourse, which will result in permanent exclusion from Sangha. A notable exception in the history of Buddhism occurred in Japan during the Edo period, in which male homosexuality, or more specifically, love between young novices and older monks, was celebrated. References to Pandaka, a eunuch, impotence category that is sometimes interpreted to include homosexual males, can be found throughout the Pali Canon as well as other Sanskrit scriptures. In the Chinese version of Sarvastivada Vinaya, the Pandaka also trying to have sex with women, not just men. Leonard Zwilling refers extensively to Buddhahosa's Samantapasadika, where Pandaka are described as being filled with defiled passions and insatiable lusts, and are dominated by their libido. Some texts of the Abhidharma state that a Pandaka cannot achieve enlightenment in their own lifetime, but must wait for rebirth and Asanga and Vasubandhu discussed if a Pandaka was able to be enlightened or not. According to one scriptural story, Ananda, Buddha's cousin and disciple, was a Pandaka in one of his many previous lives. Some later classic Buddhist masters and texts disallow contact between monks, bodhisattva and pandakas, women and classify non-vagina sex as sexual misconduct, including for lay followers. The third of the five precepts of Buddhism states that one is to refrain from sexual misconduct. This precept has sometimes been interpreted to include homosexuality. 
The Dalai Lama of Tibetan Buddhism interprets sexual misconduct to include lesbian and gay sex, and indeed any sex other than penis-vagina intercourse, including oral sex, anal sex, and masturbation or other sexual activity with the hand. The only time sex is acceptable is when it performed for its purpose of procreation. When interviewed by Canadian TV news anchor Evan Solomon on CBC News, Sunday about whether or not homosexuality is acceptable in Buddhism, the Dalai Lama responded that it is sexual misconduct. This was an echo of an earlier response in a 2004 Vancouver Sun interview when asked about homosexuality in Buddhism, where the Dalai Lama replied for a Buddhist, the same sex, that is sexual misconduct. However, the Dalai Lama supports human rights for all, regardless of sexual orientation. In Thailand, there are some prejudice accounts propose that homosexuality arises as a karmic consequence of violating Buddhist proscriptions against heterosexual misconduct. These karmic accounts describe homosexuality as a congenital condition which cannot be altered, at least in a homosexual person's current lifetime, and have been linked with calls for compassion and understanding from the non homosexual populace. However, Buddhist leaders in Thailand have also condemned homosexuality, ousted monks accused of homosexual acts, and banned Kathui from ordination. As per BBC article the 27th of April 2009, senior monk PHRA Maha Wudajaya Vahiramed is very concerned by flamboyant behavior of gay and transgender novices such as the wearing of makeup and tight or revealingly tight robes, carrying pink purses and having effeminately shaped eyebrows. PHRA Vahiramedi acknowledged that it was difficult to exclude them from the monkhood, so he introduced Thailand's and Buddhism's good manners curriculum, the country's first. A later popular Japanese legend attributed the introduction of monastic homosexuality to Japan to Shingon founder Kakai, although scholars now dismiss the veracity of this assertion, pointing out his strict adherence to the Vinaya. Nonetheless, the legend served to affirm same sex relation between men and boys in 17th century Japan. However, Japanese Buddhist scholar and author of Wild Azaleas Kitamura Kigan argued that there was a tendency in monasteries to avoid heterosexuality and to encourage homosexuality. Although Mahayana Buddhism has some texts against homosexuality from later Abhidharma texts and Buddhist apocrypha, the majority of its teachings assert that all beings who correctly practice the Dharma may reach enlightenment, since all possess an innate Buddha nature. Enlightenment being achievable even in a single life. The capacity of Buddhism to reform itself and its great variety of distinct beliefs and schools, provide many liberal streams of Buddhism, which are accepting of all sexual orientations. Reformist Buddhism is predominant in the West and in some Eastern cosmopolitan cities. <laughs> Sikhism Sikhism has no written view on the matter, but in 2005, a Sikh religious authority described homosexuality as "...against the Sikh religion and the Sikh code of conduct and totally against the laws of nature," and called on Sikhs to support laws against gay marriage. Many Sikhs are against this view, however, and state that the Sikh scriptures promote equality and do not condemn homosexuality. Marriage in Sikhism is seen as a union of souls. In Sikhism, the soul is seen as genderless, and the outward appearance of human beings man, woman, is a temporary state. Same-sex marriage advocates refer to this fact, in Sikh scripture. The Sikh holy book, the Guru Granth Sahib, is the highest authority in the Sikhism, it is seen as the eleventh and eternal Guru. It serves as a guide to Sikhs on how to live positive lives, and details what behavior is expected of all Sikhs. It is seemingly silent on the subject of homosexuality, however, married life is encouraged time and time again in Guru Granth Sahib G. Whenever marriage is mentioned, it is always in reference to a man and a woman. Some Sikhs believe that Guru Granth Sahib G is the complete guide to life, and if a marriage between two of the same sexes is not mentioned, it is therefore not right. The counterargument to this is that man and woman are only mentioned in this way to give light to the relationship of the soul and the soul force as being one. This denies gender and sex as an issue. Thus, Sikhism is more concerned with one's attainment of enlightenment rather than habitual desires such as sexuality. True love is attained through the Guru and no man speaks on behalf of the Guru as the Granth is open to interpretation and misrepresentation. There are five vices habitual desires outlined in the Guru Granth Sahib that one should try to control. One of these vices is lust, and some Sikhs believe that homosexual thoughts and behavior are just manifestations of lust. 
However, Sikhs that are more accepting of homosexuality claim that this is equally applicable to heterosexuals. These same Sikhs believe that Guru Nanak emphasis on universal equality and brotherhood is fundamentally in support of the human rights of homosexuals. Views on homosexuality tend not to be a primary concern in Sikh teachings, as the universal goal of a Sikh is to have no hate or animosity to any person, regardless of race, caste, color, creed, gender, or sexed guru. S. Silence on homosexuality has led to a history of ambivalence on the topic. Topic. Zoroastrianism Topic. The Vendidad, one of the later Zoroastrian texts composed in the artificial young Avestan language, has not been dated precisely. It is thought that some concepts of law, uncleanliness, dualism, and salvation were shared between the religions, and subsequent interactions between the religions are documented by events such as the release of the Jews from the Babylonian captivity by Zoroastrian Cyrus the Great in 537 BC, and the biblical account of the Magi visiting the infant Jesus. The Vendidad generally promotes procreation. The man who has a wife is far above him who lives in continence, he who keeps a house is far above him who has none, he who has children is far above the childless man, he who has riches is far above him who has none." It details the penance for a worshipper who submits to sodomy under force as 800 stripes with the Aspehi Astra, 800 stripes with the Sreyosho Sharana equal to the penalty for breaking a contract with the value of an ox, and declares that for those participating voluntarily. For that deed there is nothing that can pay, nothing that can atone, nothing that can cleanse from it, it is a trespass for which there is no atonement, forever and ever." However, those not practicing the religion of Mazda were pardoned for past actions upon conversion, however, many Zoroastrians, termed Reformists, eschew the teachings of the Vendidad as corruptions of Zoroaster's original message, claiming the rules do not conform with good words, good thoughts and good deeds, and therefore have no spiritual significance. Hence, many of these reformist Zoroastrians are openly accepting and supportive of the LGBT community and same-sex marriage. Topic. East Asian religions Topic. Among the Taoic religions of East Asia, such as Taoism, passionate homosexual expression is usually discouraged because it is believed to not lead to human fulfillment. Topic. Confucianism Topic. Confucianism, being primarily a social and political philosophy, focused little on sexuality, whether homosexual or heterosexual. However, the ideology did emphasize male friendships, and Lewis Crompton has argued that the closeness of the master-disciple bond it fostered may have subtly facilitated homosexuality. Homosexuality is not mentioned in the Analects of Confucius. Taoism <inaudible> 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 There is no single official position on homosexuality in Taoism, as the term Taoism is used to describe a number of disparate religious traditions. In a similar way to Buddhism, Taoist schools sought throughout history to define what would be sexual misconduct. The precept against sexual misconduct is sex outside your marriage. The married spouses fu -fu usually in Chinese suggest male with female, though the scripture itself does not explicitly say anything against same-gender relations. Many sorts of precepts mentioned in the Seven Slips of Cloudy Satchel, Yun Ji Chi Qian the mini Taoist canon, does not explicitly say anything against same gender relations as well. Homosexuality is not unknown in Taoist history, such as during the Tang dynasty when Taoist nuns exchanged love poems. Attitudes about homosexuality within Taoism often reflect the values and sexual norms of broader Chinese society. See homosexuality in China. Topic. Paganism Topic. Topic. Neo-pagan religion Topic. Topic. Wicca Topic. The Wiccan Charge of the Goddess, one of the most famous texts in neopaganism, states in the words of the goddess. 
All acts of love and pleasure are my rituals. In traditional forms of Wicca, such as Gardnerian and Alexandrian Wicca, magic is often performed between a man and a woman, and the great rite is a sex ritual performed between a priest and priestess representing the god and goddess. However, this is not generally seen as excluding homosexuals or magic between same sex couples. Most groups still insist, however, that initiations be conferred from man to woman or woman to man. Any ritual sexual acts, whether actual or symbolic, take place between two consenting adults, normally a couple who are already lovers. See also LGBT topics and Wicca. Topic Satanism topic Satanism, in both the theistic and the Lavi tradition, is open to all forms of sexual expression, and does not preclude homosexuality. Topic Unitarian Universalism topic The first ordained minister of a major religious sect in the U.S. or Canada to come out as gay was the UU minister James Stoll in 1969. There have been UUA resolutions supporting people regardless of sexual orientation since 1970. Unitarian Universalism was the first denomination to accept openly transgender people as full members with eligibility to become clergy. In 1988, the first openly transgender person was ordained by the Unitarian Universalist Association. The Unitarian Universalist Association supports the freedom to marry and compares resistance to it to the resistance to abolition of slavery, women's suffrage, and the end of anti miscegenation laws. Several congregations have undertaken a series of organizational, procedural and practical steps to become acknowledged as a welcoming congregation, a congregation which has taken specific steps to welcome and integrate gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgender GLBT members. UU ministers perform same-sex unions and now same-sex marriages where legal and sometimes when not, as a form of civil protest. On 29 June 1984, the Unitarian Universalists became the first major church to approve religious blessings on homosexual unions. Unitarian Universalists have been in the forefront of the work to make same sex marriages legal in their local states and provinces, as well as on the national level. Gay men and lesbians are also regularly ordained as ministers, and a number of gay and lesbian ministers have, themselves, now become legally married to their partners. In May 2004 Arlington Street Church was the site of the first state-sanctioned same-sex marriage in the United States. The official stance of the UUA is for the legalization of same-sex marriage, standing on the side of love. In 2004 UU Minister Rev. Deborah Hafner of the Religious Institute on Sexual Morality, Justice, and Healing published an open letter on religious leaders on marriage equality to affirm same-sex marriage from a multi-faith perspective. Topic humanism Topic Humanism is a non-religious, non-theistic approach to life that supports full equality for LGBTQ individuals, including the right to marry. Humanism and its Aspirations, a statement of humanist principles from the American Humanist Association, states that humanists are concerned for the well-being of all, are committed to diversity, and respect those of differing yet humane views, work to uphold the equal enjoyment of human rights and civil liberties in an open, secular society and maintain it is a civic duty to participate in the democratic process and a planetary duty to protect nature's integrity, diversity, and beauty in a secure, sustainable manner. The American Humanist Association provides a LGBT Humanist Pride Award and has funded a LGBT Inclusive Prom for Itawamba County Agricultural High School in Mississippi. The organization LGBT Humanists UK is a United Kingdom-based not-for-profit that campaigns for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender LGBT equality and human rights and promotes humanism as an ethical worldview. It was formerly an independent group, but since 2012 has been a part of the charity Humanists UK. In 2009 they gave Stephen Fry an award for his services to humanism and gay rights. Humanists UK Chief Executive Andrew Copson, who is gay, once wrote that Humanists have always been champions of LGBT rights and cited his organization's many years campaigning for decriminalization and LGBT equality in the UK, including legal same-sex marriages. He pointed out the large number of LGBT people in the movement, including Stephen Fry, Christian Yesen, and Peter Tatchell, as well as historical associations with humanism like the writer Virginia Woolf and E.M. Forster. In a statement following the Orlando nightclub shooting for the International Humanist and Ethical Union, of which Copson is also president, he went further, saying, "...humanism is the ultimate, long-standing and unfaltering ally of LGBTI people everywhere." 
Topic: Candomble. Topic: In Candomble, homosexuality is usually accepted and explained by the sex of one's orisha. Homosexuality would be more probable in a man with a female orisha, a woman with a male orisha, or any of them with an androgynous orisha, such as Olakun. Topic: Unification Church. Topic. Unification Church founder Sun Myung Moon opposed homosexuality and compared gay people to dirty dung eating dogs. He prophesied that gays will be eliminated in a purge on God's orders. Topic. Queer religions Topic. Topic. Radical fairies The Radical Fairies are a worldwide queer spiritual movement, founded in 1979 in the United States. The Gay God Two. Er Shen or the Rabbit God is the only gay god worshipped in the world. In 2006, Liu Wei Ming founded a temple for two. Er Shen in Yang District in the New Taipei City in Taiwan, about 9,000 gay pilgrims visits the temple each year for praying to get a suitable partner. The Wei Ming Temple also performs love ceremony for gay couples. It is the world's only religious shrine for homosexuals. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious groups and public policy. Topic. Opposition to same-sex marriage and LGBT rights is often associated with conservative religious views. The American Family Association and other religious groups have promoted boycotts of corporations whose policies support the LGBT community. In conservative Islamic nations, laws generally prohibit same-sex sexual behavior, and interpretation of Sharia law on male homosexuality carries the death penalty. This has been condemned as a violation of human rights by human rights organization Amnesty International and by the writers of the Yogyakarta Principles. With the signature of the USA in 2009, the proposed UN Declaration on LGBT Rights has now been signed by every European secular state and all Western nations, as well as other countries, 67 members of the UN in total. An opposing statement put forward by Muslim nations was signed by 57 member states, mostly in Africa and Asia. 68 out of the total 192 countries have not yet signed either statement. In 2011 the United Nations Human Rights Council passed a landmark resolution initiated by South Africa supporting LBGT rights see sexual orientation and gender identity at the United Nations topic see also topic culture war LGBT rights by country or territory religion and sexuality the Bible and homosexuality topic references topic topic source topic John Boswell Christianity social tolerance and homosexuality gay people in Western Europe from the beginning Beginning of the Christian Era to the 14th Century, University of Chicago Press, 1st ed. 1980 ISBN 0-226-06710-6, paperback November 2005 ISBN 0-226-06711-4 Dane S. Clausen, ed. Sex, Religion, Media, Roman and Littlefield, 2002. ISBN 0 7425 1558 3. Ettengoff, C. and Diut, C. 2015. Clinicians' Perspectives of Religious Families and Gay Men's Negotiation of Sexual Orientation Disclosure and Prejudice, Journal of Homosexuality, 62 3, 394 426. Ettengoff, C. and Diut, C. 2014. Family Members' Uses of Religion in Post Coming Out Conflicts with Their Gay Relative. Psychology of Religion and Spirituality. 6 1, 33-43. doi, 10.1037, A0035198 Johnson, P. and Vanderbeck, R. M. 2014 Law, Religion and Homosexuality, Abingdon, Routledge. 
Matthew Kufler, editor, The Boswell Thesis: Essays on Christianity, Social Tolerance, and Homosexuality, University of Chicago Press, November 2005. ISBN 0-226-45741-9. McNutt, Francis, 2006. Can Homosexuality Be Healed? Publisher, Chosen Books. ISBN 0-8007-9409-5. Stephen O. Murray and Will Roscoe, eds. Islamic Homosexualities: Culture, History, and Literature. NYU Press New York 1997 Arlene Swidler, Homosexuality and World Religions. Valley Forge 1993. ISBN 1-56338-051-X Eckhart Tall, The Power of Now, A Guide to Spiritual Enlightenment, New World Library, 1st ed., 1999, paperback 2004 ISBN 1-57731-480-8 Wafer, Jim 1991, The Taste of Blood, Spirit Possession in Brazilian Candomblé Up Philadelphia Wafer, Jim 1997, Muhammad and Male Homosexuality in Islamic Homosexualities, Culture, History, and Literature by Stephen O. Murray and Will Roscoe eds. NYU Press New York Wafer, Jim 1997, The Symbolism of Male Love in Islamic Mystical Literature in Islamic Homosexualities, Culture, History, and Literature by Stephen O. Murray and Will Roscoe eds. NYU Press New York 1997